So you want to survive freshman year? I got you. Yo, what is going on guys? Sean is Magic here, back at again with another video. Today we got some advice for the freshmen. Just the other day I posted a video, every high schooler be like, and so I was just like, yo, let's continue this trend with a little advice video on how to survive freshman year. Now I know what you're thinking. Sean, it is the beginning of July. We got at least 60 more days until school even starts. What the heck are you doing posting a school video? As my good friend Autumn would say, shut up. Just kidding, the reason I'm posting this video so early is because I remember the summer of 8th grade, coming into freshman year, I was so scared of how people would perceive me and just going into a new environment where there's older people that I would be searching up these kind of videos just about right now. And so that's why I decided to post a little bit early for anybody who was like me and are watching these videos in the middle of July. But anyways, before this video starts, if you guys can hit that like button down below and also hit that subscribe button down below with the notifications on so you never miss an upload. Once you've done that, let's get right into the video. Alright, so now high school is kind of interesting. I feel like what makes going into freshman year nerve-wracking is the fact that there's a lot of people that you don't know. And so for the first day of school, try to say hello to as many people as possible. Start up a real conversation. Hey, what's your name? What middle school are you from? What are your other classes? Just try to have genuine conversations with people. And so that way you're not alone on trying to conquer the first day, first week, first month of school. And cause you never know, you just might meet your future best friend or future girlfriend or boyfriend. So spend time on your first day of school trying to meet as many people as possible. My second piece of advice kind of ties in into the first piece of advice and that is to try to join an after-school club or sport. Personally, I joined soccer for my high school and I've made the greatest relationships through there. It's a great opportunity to meet upperclassmen while at the same time getting your mind off all the stress of homework and school. I've actually met some of my best friends through sports and after-school activities. My next piece of advice is to be ready for the academic struggle. You just came from middle school. You might have thought middle school was a breeze, but coming into high school, it's way different. Most people wouldn't believe me, but I was actually getting a 4.0 straight A's, Asian persuasion in middle school. Coming into freshman year, I ended up getting a bunch of B's and my first C's, but that's not meant to scare you guys. The reason I did poorly in the transition is because I thought that high school would be just as easy as middle school. High school's a little bit harder, and so you just gotta be ready for that. You're gonna need to spend a little bit more time on homework, you're gonna need to procrastinate less, and you really gotta learn to manage your time. This ties into my next piece of advice and that's to know when to procrastinate and when not to. Because look, no matter how good of a student you are, you could be trying to aim for Harvard right now, but at one point in your life, you're going to need to procrastinate. And that's when you need to know when you can and cannot procrastinate. For example, if you got a homework assignment due tomorrow, first period, right when the bell rings, you should probably get it done the night before. But, say you're really tired and you got a homework assignment, do six period by the end of class, then feel free to take lunch or another class period to just get it done. Just be smart with your procrastination. You don't know how many times I've finessed the system doing the homework the class before, and you also won't believe the amount of times that I've taken fat zeros because I thought I had enough time to finish it, but I didn't. So choose your procrastination wisely. My next piece of advice goes into spirit. You've got to have some school spirit, man. If they got a little spirit week, try to dress up. For example, if it's like Hawaiian shirt day, even if you don't got a Hawaiian shirt, go to Goodwill, just grab one, you know? Try to be a little bit spirited. Trust me, people will appreciate that you're trying. Also, when it comes to football games, if they have a certain color to wear, for example, if it's a blackout, so everybody wear black, or a whiteout, everybody wear white, or whatever your school colors may be, dress up. Don't be lazy, just put on the shirt, man, and then go to the game. I remember specifically during sophomore year, there were a couple freshmen that went to a football game. They decided to wear white and brown instead of purple, which is what the color was. And man, did the upperclassmen roast them. I talked to those freshmen after the game and they were telling me how scared they were. So don't be them. Part of having school spirit is to go out to the games, Friday night lights, the football games and the soccer games, basketball games. Just go out and have fun. Especially if you have a really good student section that like chants for everything. It's 
It's a blast, man. Personally, football games are my favorite time of the year. Another big part of being spirited is to also go to the dances. Now I know, you're a freshman. You're a little bit scared to ask that one girl, but just do it, man. Worst case scenario, if she says no, she probably didn't deserve you anyways. Or even just go in a group with your friends, because these dances will be the things that you remember when you're done with high school. The last piece of advice I have for you guys is to just freaking enjoy high school, man. You've probably heard this before, but high school goes by so fast. When I was coming in freshman year, I heard that from some people. I was like, okay, yeah, sure, it goes fast. But no, I'm serious. These last couple of years has felt like a few months. You're a freshman right now, and next thing you know, you're gonna be a junior. And then you're gonna be graduated, going into college. It's crazy. So yeah, just enjoy it. If you have to, sacrifice that one homework assignment to have a little bit of fun. At the end of the day, it won't kill you. Anyways, that is it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please hit that like button down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below too. We're so close to 3,000 subscribers. I'll be back soon with more uploads. I'm actually working on a prank video and I plan to post more of like magic pranks kind of thing. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, that is it for this video. I'm Shauna's Magic and I'm out.